distinguished ladies and gentlemen, the main purpose of our bi-weekly media briefing is to provide desirable information to members of the public to know what their police is doing and also to give information based on facts you know to members of the public that will go a long way to strengthen the bond of friendship and partnership between the police and members of the public and our key partner is the media and we believe the media will do well you know to communicate whatever we might be saying to members of the public at the same time at the end of every briefing the media is also allowed to ask questions and contribute in whatever way they can to give a deeper meaning to what we're doing that is the bi-weekly media briefing my purpose this morning is to share with you the crime trend in the country and then some interesting cases that we have in recent times but the main focus will be on the current situation between the months of January to September. So by way of introduction, we start with the two major cases that we have in hand. One is a, a case that happened uh, on the 30th of October 2009, uh, where some Nigerians went in the name of the Inspector General of Police and collected some monies from a Lebanese at the African Royal Beach Hotel at Nungwa. The information we had was that some people who had posed as policemen had gone to the hotel where one Dr. Morris Botti was lodging and collected an amount of $10,000 from the said Dr. Morris Botti. And the impression created was that it was the Inspector General of Police that had sent them to come and collect this money. Detectives were sent from the CIA headquarters, and when they got to the scene, they were able to apprehend two policemen. Two policemen were apprehended. And investigations disclosed that these two policemen were the agents of some Nigerians and that they had collected $10,000 from this man with the explanation that it was the Inspector General of Police that sent them. And the policemen led us to arrest the Nigerians and we have uh, four Nigerians in our custody and I believe they are here for the press to see them. And the four so far arrested are uh, Eluke Ibeni, who is aged 26 years and who is unemployed. Eluke Ibeni, who are you? The next person is Aganayi Isa. He's 38 years and he claimed to be a musician. Every Rastama is a musician. Then get up. The two of you get up. <coughs> the next person is Joshua Akodu, age 39 years. He claims to be a trader. And the next person is a lady, Linda Oboko, 39 years. He claims to be a trader, and they are all from the Delta state of Nigeria. The two policemen, yes, you know, we don't want to hide anything from anybody. We don't want the impression to be created that we are covering our men. If you are a policeman and cannot conduct yourself well and get into trouble, we expose you to the public as we do to any other person. So the two policemen who are involved in this case are Charles Mensa and Emmanuel Akume. Charles Mensa and Emmanuel Akume. They are all from the Sakumuno police station. So we have six people, including these two policemen, who were involved in this shameful act 
of collecting money in the name of the innocent Inspector General of Police. And uh, when they were taken to the police custody, one of them was identified as a lobby suspect, as an accomplice who was at large. And so he was exposed by his colleagues in says, And the one who was exposed was Eluke Ebeni. So that is his game. Yes, Eluke is an armed robber and at the same time a foster. So he was exposed when he was taken to the says on the day of the arrest. So that's for you. The case, uh, you know, now most criminals are becoming so daring that they can go to all length. Because if you can use anybody's name to commit crime, it should not be the Inspector General of Police of the Ghana Police Service. But they are capable of doing everything. And the other side of it is that our brothers come to the country, we receive them in good faith, but they abuse our hospitality. They are all Nigerians, and much as I don't want to be seen to be, I believe we should be seen to be talking the facts, the truth, and not hide anything. Most of them have at least their hospitality. It's hard time that we come together as a country to see how this means could be dealt with. The other case, which may also be of interest to you, is where one which Mon Ampa, a Ghanaian, sent a parcel meant to somebody in the UK. And that parcel contained a substance which is believed to be Indian hemp. You know, the post is now being used to send all sorts of things outside the country. And there's so much collaboration between the British and the Ghanaian security agencies. And one of the operations, this which more Ampa had a, a slip from the post office and he went to collect it and the cause of collection was apprehended. When the parcel was opened, it contained a compressed dry leaf suspected to be a narcotic drug. It was concealed in the computer external hard drive. The computer external hard drive where this uh, suspected narcotic drug was concealed. When he was apprehended, he admitted the offense and investigations are still continuing. Which one are you? Yes. In fact, he was talking like a pilot. He has given us enough information and uh, we thank him for that, even though he has committed an offense. We believe he has been a helpful friend.